You know, River Rats, the muddy creek is getting to a point where it's a little bit easier paddling. Oh, there's a rock. As long as you pay attention to where you're going. But these are like prime water levels to find some fish. And fish are what we're looking for. With any luck, we're gonna land on a few. So let's go. I do find it interesting how, I mean, every time there's high water on one of these small little rivers, it gets shuffled around and rearranged. And it just looks different. Keeps things fresh. I think uh, some poet, might have been Thoreau, Thoreau, said, uh, I don't know, something about a man never floats the same river twice. I'm butchered the crap out of that. But the point being is, like, I've been on this length of river many times, and it's always different. Even when the water doesn't come up, it changes. So, I kind of really enjoy that. Um, my inner toddler, who enjoys watching a bobber go under, also enjoys looking at new things, poking around and discovering. He also likes catching fish, so let's try to catch a fish. This spot looks like it's got potential. Yeah, I'm gonna cast it the, those big old rocks. If I can find a spot to secure myself, at least somewhat. Well, there's a snake skin. That's kind of cool. Good to know the old snakes are healthy. Eh, I think I can clip off one of them willows. They're not very big, but willows are generally pretty stout. Pretty tough. Put them to the test. Okay, drag set and good. Not a ton of depth there, but if there's anybody home. Ooh. My willow's holding strong, but my connection to it isn't. I'll try the other edge. All right, we're reasonably situated. The baits are nice and lively. Man. If there's anything down there, they're definitely going to know the bait's there. Whether they want to eat it or not, it's a different story. But apparently nobody cares. The little baits are nice and lively down there, so on to the next one. Paddled a pretty good ways, but this definitely were, looks like something worth checking out. Whether it's fishy or not, we'll see. But I'm definitely gonna fish it. Definitely looks like it could. We'll see if it's any good. It's not very deep. There is one in there. Shouldn't take very long because it should be right in his grill. A little deeper there. Should also be right in his grill. I do like how we're set up here a lot. I could shove the little banker in the mud and then this log's got me propped up and the current's pushed me up against it. Ooh, he dropped it? Did I get a visit from the Chan man? 
Well, he's back. He's nibbling it. Oh, he's in a log. That's why he's pulling funny. Not sure what we have going on here. It's definitely in some junk. Well, I got him. He doesn't feel real. He's just gone. That was a nice fish. <laughs> Dang it. That was what we were after, everybody. At least I think it was. That's frustrating. Well this, this is uh, quite the brush pile. I think I will nibble at the edges. And if that don't work, then, then we're going in. Okay. Seems solid. Cool to find one who uh, makes me second guess that. I throw a chunk of cut bait in there too, considering I got a dead bluegill right here. Sometimes that's what they want. I did just realize that I left all my snacks in my truck. Not the smartest move I've ever done. But on a positive note, it's a long ways from the dumbest one. Which, if you could do that, that'd be a pretty impressive feat. Alright, let's get that little fella over there. Not super deep, but hopefully one will slither on out. Threw it right on top of that log. That's not all that deep there either, surprisingly. But there's enough, enough depth. Well, that'd be one of them super deep ones, like seven or eight feet. Probably five though. Get comfy, not too comfy. A little comfy. Ooh. The cut bait bounced. Which cut bait shouldn't bounce? The live bait should be bouncing. But the cut bait. It's only bouncing if good things are happening. The live bait's bouncing a lot. I'm trying to decide if he's just like super tuned up or getting chased or if he's getting nibbled on by a little fella. He's not having a good time down there, I imagine. It's a pretty nasty world under the water. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it that time. We give it two more minutes before we get right down in it. If we do, I'll probably take that cut bait off. Drop a live one down there. Or second live one, anyway. Yeah, let's let's get up in there. Oh yeah, that bait got the whole bottom part of that bait skinned. Yeah, they just they're not big enough to fit the whole thing in their mouth, so they they grab it as far as they can and then they pull and their mouth slides off and they pull scales off. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Alright, got live baits on both of them. Let's see if uh, getting them, get them a little closer makes a difference. Yeah, there's got to be some big ones in here. Can we get our bait close enough for him to give a crap? 
That's the question of the day. I really thought it'd be deeper. Five foot. Which on a small stream is pretty good. Nothing here. Probably try one more spot in this. Then we're gonna go get set up for night fishing. This one's snagged. Yeah, I hear you, squirrel. I think the bright braid is snagged. Oh yeah, she is solid. What? She came out? Sweet. All right, now to get set up where I want to get set up. That was a good fish. No idea why he came off. The hook points rolled over. Details. Devils in the details. That sucks. Hook files are cool. You gotta use them though. I'm gonna make a big move. Set up in a different spot for nighttime. But I will be back. Well, I'm paddling to where I'm gonna fish this evening. Might hit a couple spots because we still got some daylight. Still frustrated about missing them, but back to the drawing board. Keep trying to get better. Sometimes you got to take a step back to take two steps forward. Sometimes I take two steps back and take two steps forward. Okay, let's uh, get set up. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. 20 minutes here and see what happens. We might stay here. We might move. I don't know. Just so many possibilities. <laughs> Making some friends over here, but uh, not the fishy ones. I'm going to reel up and go get set up where I'm wanting to set up for tonight. I don't think this would be a bad spot, but I think that'll be a better one. I'm gonna check it and find out. Yep. Stay on there, bud. He thumped it like the right kind. Where are you at? I can't see nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's not a bag. He's all right. That food he ate it was awesome. Oh, now he's gonna freak out. Come here, bud. A, a no doubter. Happy I finally hooked one. 
right kind too. There we go. Yeah, you soaked really good. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun sizer. Edible sizer. I got some catfish in the fridge I need to eat, so he, uh, he isn't going to get eight, but that was sweet. He just thumped it. I don't know. It's tough to capture those moments at nighttime while filming. I could leave a light running all the time, but I think it, I don't know. I'm not a fan of lights, and I just think it would impact my catch rate to the point where it would make putting videos out tough. At least on these small creeks, you know, I'm, my bait was 20 feet from the kayak and two feet of water. So I think the light spooks them in those situations, but I could be wrong. I'd rather be safe than sorry and, you know, the enjoyment of catching fish became before filming. So you can't have a fishing video without a fish. We'll quit rambling and get him back in the water. We got a fish. We get another bait out there and hopefully get another one. Just had one and he dropped it. He ate my bluegill. Well, he didn't eat it, he sampled it. Decided it wasn't for him. I'll let it sit for a few more minutes. We got another one going. Thing, a few things are happening. It's not crazy, but we got some action. This is a weird bite. Smallish, maybe. Ooh. <laughs> yep, small. Do I have him? Or did he just kill my bait? Ooh. I got him. Oh. <laughs> just swam at the kayak and then decided to lose his mind at the kayak. <laughs> That's a big bait for you, dude. He's just a channel cat doing channel cat things. Need Big Dad to show up. Funny how the channel cats are so much more unruly than the flatheads. What I was saying is I need Big Dad to show up. Keep these little get these little tykes in line. Alright. <laughs> They're just little jerks. He's already getting ready to freak out. Can't complain when I'm getting bites. Catching some fish. Actually hooking up, that's cool too. I really enjoy that when I get a bite and I, I hook and land a fish, that's that's fun. I really enjoyed that. Maybe I'll try it again, we'll see. Maybe I'll get a bite and not hook them, you know? Like, that's definitely a possibility. So many options. Really need to start calling some people, get permission to camp on some sandbars it's a much more enjoyable way to spend the evening but this ain't so bad either just hard to sleep in a kayak it's much more enjoyable with a campfire hmm. appears we have a nibble Here's we have a fish.
I think we have the Chan Man. Wow, how do you get over in the middle of the Impressive work. Oh. I'm not sure if you saw that water just hit me in the floor. Wow, we made a mess of things. Let me just tail walking. I probably could have just flipped him right in the boat. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh. Well, I was kind of tired. And that woke me right up. <laughs> I don't like a cold splash of water to the face. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll get this untangled, but what I was getting at was it was a fun day on the water. All things considered, had some missed opportunities, but you know, when you, you try new things, sometimes you get good results, sometimes you don't get good results, but I don't know. I'm not a very stagnant person. You know, I find something routine and then I, I gotta tweak it for better or worse, but I don't know. It's a fun ride either way, and I hope you enjoyed the ride and enjoyed this video and and all that other stuff and yeah thanks for watching oh that just got bit too i need to figure this out hope you catch giant